uh, of Thursday, May 19, 2022 to order. My name is Chris Schmidt, uh, and I am serving as the acting zoning administrator for the city of Monterey today. Um, if we could, uh, if I could have our uh, acting recording secretary uh, announce the presence of staff members here today. For staff members present, we have senior associate planner Chris Schmidt serving as zoning administrator, associate planner Matthew Buggert, recording secretary Jennifer Cleary, and administrative assistant Stephanie Coda. Thank you. And we can take this time to announce how members of the public can join our, um, our meeting via Zoom Gov. Stephanie, if you'd like to announce that. Members of the public are encouraged to join our meetings via ZoomGov, a secure service that connects you live with no lag time. This meeting is also streamed live on youtube.com slash city of Monterey with an approximate 10 second delay on Comcast channel 25 up to 90 second delay. If you would like to provide public comment, please join the meeting using Zoom or by telephone, making sure to join in time to accommodate delays. To join the Zoom meeting from a computer or phone, use the link or phone numbers on the agenda posted at isearchmonterey.org. Since the meeting has started, you'll find the agenda under the Recent tab. To join by telephone, dial 833-568-8864. Again, that number is 833-568-8864. 8864 toll free, uh, then enter the web I, webinar ID. That number is 1606665889. Again, that webinar ID is 1606665889. If prompted for a participant ID, press the pound key. Detailed instructions for using Zoom are available at monterey.org slash public meetings. To provide public comment via Zoom, please use the raise your hand function at the bottom of your screen. To provide comments by phone, dial star nine to raise your hand, then star six to unmute when called upon. Public commenters will be announced using their last three phone number digits or the name typed into Zoom. Public commenters will be muted until it is their turn to speak. Please turn off TV or computer speakers or go to another room while connected as background noise interferes with the broadcast. Public speakers will be called upon in order of hands raised. There is a three minute time limit for today's meeting. Please stay within that limit. Can we announce that? Nobody's raising their hand. And there are no attendees. Thank you. Um, I'll move on to the consent agenda, which includes the approval of minutes from May 5th, 2022. Um, I will note for the record that I did watch that meeting uh, and I was able to review the minutes. Um, I do have one thing I would like to change um, under, under staff presentation, it, it reads that Associate Planner Buggert presented the agenda report and answered zoning administrator questions. There were no questions for staff. Um, and with that change, I would uh, I'll move to approve the minutes. Uh, and so moving on to uh, the last item on our agenda, item number three, uh, which is consider 398 Fremont Street use permit application UP22-0057 to allow mobile food vending business farm fresh fruits to operate from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on private property. Applicant Dustin Benton, owner Gerdish Kumar, C2 zoning district, commercial general plan land use designation, exempt from CEQA for Article 19, Section 15301, Class 1. Uh, do we have a staff presentation? We do. Please 
Thank you, Chris. Hello and good afternoon. My name is Matthew Buggert and I am a associate planner with the city of Monterey's planning division. Today we are here to uh, consider mobile food vending long-term private property use permit at 398 Fremont Street. I'm going to try and get this off of my screen. For some background on the property, the property is located at 398 Fremont Street near the, near the downtown of Monterey. There is a one-story building on site with a gas station and convenience store and a parking lot surrounding it. The land use is commercial with C2 zoning, which is community commercial district. The proposed use on site today is for a mobile food vending vehicle named Farm Fresh Fruits. The owner of this vending vehicle would be Dustin is Dustin Benton. The uh, food truck would be located adjacent to an existing food truck called Bobalicious and Bites, previously approved last year with the Planning Commission. The anticipated schedule would be from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. Those would be the maximum operating hours in compliance with the city's code. The menu would consist of fruits to go. Um, may also include fruit cups uh, based on the photos that have been provided. There's a shared dumpster at the back of the property that uh, currently handles refuse from both the existing food truck and from the existing convenience store. The employees working on site would be allowed to use the convenience store market restroom restrooms. And the food truck operator has active Monterey County Health Department permits and the city of Monterey business license. Here's an image of the proposed food truck. Uh, to be clear, the permit allows for the food truck itself and does not necessarily uh, allow for outdoor displays or signage. If those were to be requested in the future, they would fall underneath the city's existing uh, sign permit process. So it's the food truck itself. This is an image of the food truck closed. And as for the location on site, the proposed food truck location and queuing would be located on the south side of the site. There is an open area that is currently uh, used for various vehicle storage. And uh, it seems as though there is a break table that the uh, convenience store has out there. Uh, the existing food truck is uh, the Bobalicious and Bites one is also allowed to be within this area, and there is enough room for both food trucks and queuing of patrons. Findings that need to be made for approval. The proposed use is in accordance with the objectives of the zoning ordinance and the purposes of the zone. For the C2 zoning district, the uh, the district allows for commercial operations and the food truck would not cause excessive noise or odors. Uh, all, all operations would be conducted within the existing vehicle. Further findings, number two, the proposed project would not be detrimental to public health and safety or welfare of persons residing or working in or adjacent to the neighborhood of such use. The commercial land use designation supports commercial establishments of which this would be one. The entire food vending operation would be confined to the subject uh, private property, including patron queuing. And as stated before, garbage and materials dispensed from the vending vehicle would be disposed of in that dumpster. And three, the proposed use will comply with any condition as listed on the conditions of approval. One thing I'd, I'd like to note on this property is as shown in the site plan here, there are two required vehicle parking spots in the lower right corner. Uh, there's a potential proposal that may come through in the future to restripe areas of the parking lot uh, to try and get those food trucks closer to the, that lower right corner. There is a condition of approval 
listed in the resolution number nine that the vending vehicle may not be parked so as to take up existing required parking spaces on site. So that would remain in effect moving forward if those parking spots were to be moved to another location. So the recommendation from staff is to approve the use permit with conditions. With that, that concludes staff's presentation. I am available for any questions and otherwise the applicant is here and uh, may also want to say a few words if he wants. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. I have no questions for staff. I, I will have questions for the applicant, but I'll ask that he present first. <clears throat> test, test. All right. Hello, everyone, and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules today to be here. Um, my name is Dustin Benton, the owner of Farm Fresh Fruits, and I work alongside with my wife, and we are third-generation produce people. We've also worked alongside for about six years with our father-in-law, my father-in-law, her dad, uh, running his business out in Moss Landing as well, and he has uh, been in business since the 60s, and we would love to expand our business into the Monterey area. We currently have a trailer out in Carmel Valley and one in Moss Landing with a whole storefront in Moss Landing, which is our main hub basically where we pull produce from. So what is Farm Fresh Fruits? Basically the best way to describe Farm Fresh Fruits is we are a taco truck, but strictly produce only. Um, we sell everything from strawberries that are picked out in Moss Landing daily, cherries and corn that are picked out in Gilroy daily, and dried goods such as pistachios and even candies that are even made in Oakdale by Sconza Candy Company. Um, our, what we are, we are open seasonally. So we're about May 1st through October 1st, more or less, depending on the weather and availability of product. And we have a goal to provide the freshest and most local organic and conventional produce to the area. Um, you may think that because we are bringing in more produce, um, there's a competition and we may affect other business locally. I would say no, in our experience that we've been on gas stations, we don't affect the gas station. We won't affect other um, businesses such as like Whole Foods, mom and pop shops that do the same thing because it's kind of a different business. We have strictly seasonal stuff and mom and pop stores that have produce stands are, you know, meat departments. They have dried goods such as rice, grains, all that kind of stuff. So they have extra things that they rely on in their year round as well when we are just seasonal. So I believe we'll just add to the community and not take away from other people. Um, this is a community that we, my wife and I would like to join as well because we actually did put an offer on a house in Monterey and it was accepted. So we will be currently moving here soon. So we would love to open a storefront out here as well as having a trailer out here as well. Um, but that will be in the future. Um, so yes, and that's pretty much it. If there's any questions, please let me know. Great, yeah, just a couple of questions. So do you intend to, when, when you're closed, do you intend to, to leave the trailer or will, will you be moving it out regularly to pick up your, your products or? No, technically daily, it'll stay there through the whole season, um, just like Bobalicious stays there. Um, I have a driver that will deliver all the products and um, at the end of the season, we will take it away. So it will be empty. Okay. And I imagine, I think Bobalicious stays open year round. They'll probably just move over a little bit after we leave. Okay. Yeah. The reason I asked that is I, I just want to make sure you're able to coordinate, obviously, with the existing Bobalicious Bo truck, because mm -hmm. um, it could serve as a challenge to get your trailer in and out. Of course, I think you, yeah. you'd be able to do that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to ask was... Um, the staff, re staff report describes the dumpsters on site. Are those the ones that are located towards the Denny's side of the property? Yes, I believe so. Okay. But for reference, um, I probably will not use their dumpsters because most of the stuff I bring is cardboard. Okay. So I'll have my driver that delivers stuff, take cardboard out and trash out. And we facilitate all of our trash through our business and goes to the Monterey County Regional Dump okay, weekly. Okay, great. Great. Um, I did get a chance to go to the site and it looks like currently Bobalicious and your, and your trailer are there and um, Bobalicious is located at the existing parking spaces. Um, and I guess I would only add that if, if um, either of you like to continue in that space, you do understand that you would have to uh, have the property owner add new 
parking spaces that would be subject to the city's parking requirements, et cetera. Yes, I understand. Okay. Okay. Um, well, those are all of my questions. I think um, this would be our opportunity to open up the item for public comment. To join the Zoom meeting from a computer or phone, use the link or phone numbers on the agenda posted at isearchmonterey.org. To join by telephone, dial 833-568-8864. Again, that number is 833-568-8864. Eight eight six four toll free. Then enter the webinar ID. The webinar ID is one six zero six 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 five eight eight nine. Again, that number is one six zero six 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 five eight eight nine. To provide public comment via Zoom, please use the raise your hand function at the bottom of your screen. To provide comments by phone, dial star nine to raise your hand, then star six to unmute when called upon. Public commenters will be announced using their last three phone number digits or the name typed into Zoom. There are currently no attendees watching the meeting on Zoom or in person, so I think it's safe to move on. Okay. Um, this is the time where I will give my comments. Um, this seems like a good project. Um, it seems like the applicant understands what their limitations are in terms of, of the parking situation. Um, the only other comment that I would add is when I did visit the site, um, there was quite a bit of trash um, at the rear of the gas station. Um, and uh, as, as noted in the staff report, um, you know, the the, the business owner of, of our food trucks, uh, are there, they are required to keep their space clean. I would also coordinate with the gas station owner to make sure that the, the back there is clean. Um, so it's inviting for your customers really is the, the main reason. Um, and then it also seems like you understand uh, that there is a requirement for a sign permit if you would like to have signage at the site. Um, and so th those are all my comments. Um, with that, I. I would uh, move to approve the project based on the uh, findings uh, and conditions of approval provided by staff. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Um, and with that, I will close the zoning administra administrator meeting. Uh, it is 321.